need to outdo each other. So I feel like society just needs to come together and just accept that everybody's beautiful in their own way. That's the key to keep up with today's societal image of beauty. I think it's so easy for us to think that we have to fit a specific mold, especially as women. Um, and it's just challenging every day to wake up and remind yourself that you are a unique person and God made you a specific way. Um, and so just reminding ourselves of that every day is definitely something tough when it's so easy to pick up a magazine and see the perfect girl or what we think is the perfect girl, but we all know she's photoshopped in real life. To me, it would typically mean people trying to be beautiful and what that would involve. And so they feel a challenge, they feel a difficulty, and they feel like they have to portray themselves a certain way to meet that standard. Well, with my belief that, you know, God made us all beautiful, we're all individual, and none of us are alike, and that what is what makes us not equal, which to me is great, but I just know that uh, because of that, God's, God's light shines through every person, and that's what really makes him beautiful. I don't look at the outside, I look what comes from the inside. I think it's more the inside than the outside as far as you... I like to be around people that are beautiful, not like on the outside, but just they're kind to people, that people that you want to associate yourself with, people that like to help other people. I think that's beautiful. I mean, it, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but that's, yeah. Um, for me, striving for perfection, it's my perfect version of myself. I focus on self-growth, and I know like there's always things that I can improve on, but you also have to sit back and take a second and realize that, wow, I'm still a really great person, even though there's these areas that I can still do more stuff in. Well, I think to strive for perfection in a perfect world is a good thing, although it's ultimately impossible because it reflects something inside of us. We want something better than what we see necessarily. And so I think it reflects God because God's perfect in the end. And so we, we strive for that. We strive for beauty. We strive for perfection. We have to be patient with ourselves, but there's also something to be said for not giving up and just settling. Um, I think a big uh, issue a lot of girls have is like seeing like magazines and stuff with like these women in it that are obviously like photoshopped and stuff. So I guess having like the self-esteem to know like that's not really a perfect body. Like you can love who you are no matter what shape or size. Um, for me, mine was always like the texture of my hair to like get it straightened or like to work my natural curl pattern. I think um, now that the natural texture is kind of popular, I think a lot of people have done that, but I think I like where I'm at. And I'm, I like that I have two options now, not just stereotype to one kind of style. For instance, I, I'm in high school right now, I'm in the ninth grade, and makeup is a really big deal for us. Like, if you don't wear makeup, the girls at my school will be like, oh, you know, you should try this out, you should try doing this to your face, you should try filling in your eyebrows, and all this kind of stuff. And it makes me feel like, you know, I have to go home and, like, pick myself up, dress myself up, so that they'll accept me and talk to me at school. So I feel like girls just need to get past, like, trying to be perfect and just look, I mean, if you want to wear makeup, look, wear makeup. Because, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I just don't think you should pressure other people into doing it. Yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. Completely. And then that's hard at a young age. Like, I'm 33, and I'm now just really starting to feel, like, good about my image and my body and, like, not letting other people dictate. Like, when dating guys, like, you know, they make comments or, like, comparing myself to, like, ex-girlfriends they've had or, like, even my friends. To be patient with yourself and as well as with others and to stay hopeful because as long as you're alive there's a chance to change and there's a chance for God to work with you. Um, I would say just love who you are and love like how you're made, like God created you a certain way and just embrace it and don't worry about if you have a different color hair or like if you have wider hips or bigger thighs, like none of that matters, like just be who you are. Yeah, just like love yourself. At the end of the day, you have to be happy with yourself for other people to like, you want to be confident in yourself, just, you know, just to live a happy life. Like, don't worry about other people. Well, my advice would be for people to enjoy every day as it comes, because we don't have any guarantees about tomorrow. Make the best of the day that you have. Enjoy the family and the friends you have, and just serve the Lord in every way you can. 
It's not about how much you accomplish or how much you get uh, financially or even professionally because you're not guaranteed a tomorrow. So enjoy today. I'd say honestly, don't listen to what society has to yeah, say. Yeah. 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 Honestly, Be confident. I'm sure everybody here is like, oh, like, you know, you're beautiful it's just the way you are. And like, but it's really true. Hey, we all we all got different goals, but I, we gotta be thankful for what we have. I mean, if you look at what one person does or what one person succeeds, I mean, there's however bad somebody has, there's somebody else that has it worse. You know, if you can just keep a good head on your shoulders and go out and have a, have a good day and try to think positive, like good things happen to people that are positive because you make, you make them happen. You know, if people are down on down on their luck, having a bad day, and that's all they think about, well, that's all that's gonna you know continually keep happening. So if you can. You know, go out and have some good thoughts. You're probably going to be better off. I think you can get further on in life and maybe accomplish some of the goals you know, that you're looking for.